And finally, for today's episode, let's turn to Alejandra Castilla for a look at Adventist history. This week, we hear about the life of John G. Madison, a powerful preacher of the Adventist message. Hello and welcome to This Week in Adventist History. John G. Madison, an editor and minister of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, died on March 30th in 1896. Originally a Baptist preacher, he became an Adventist evangelist who, by the time of his death at age 60, had become a major figure in establishing the Adventist Church among the Scandinavians in the U.S. and Europe. Madison was born in Langland, Denmark, and received a good literary and musical education during his youth. He emigrated to the United States in 1854 along with his parents and two sisters. At age 24, Madison became a Christian. The following year, he attended a Baptist seminary in Chicago. By the time of his graduation and ordination as minister two years later, he had married Anna Severson from Tromso, Norway. Together, the Madisons moved to Wisconsin where he pastored a Danish-speaking Baptist congregation. Madison first learned of the Seventh-day Adventist faith in 1863 and he brought many people with him to the church. At the request of his former congregation, he gave a six-month long series of lectures explaining his new beliefs. As a result, all except one family followed him to the Seventh-day Adventist church. This church would soon become the second Scandinavian Adventist church in America. Madison became a powerful preacher of the Advent message with special emphasis on the love of God. He conducted revivals and established churches all over the Midwestern United States. In 1877, the General Conference sent Madison and his family to Europe. After tireless years in service of the church in Europe, Madison returned to the United States in 1888, where he worked as an editor of the church's Scandinavian publications despite serious health problems. His last three years were spent at Union College in Nebraska as a Bible teacher and editor. That was This Week in Adventist History.